The Indiana State Police can trace its roots back to 1921 when the Motor Vehicle Police was formed. 16 officers were appointed to enforce titling and motor vehicle laws. The police became the Indiana State Police in 1933 with the passing of the Indiana State Police Act. This act still serves as the foundation of the Indiana State Police Authority. The Indiana State Police has gone through numerous reorganizations and through the years, new responsibilities. Responsibilities that were totally unheard of in 1933 have been shouldered by the Indiana State Police. There are 18 Indiana State Police posts which are located at the Toll Road, Lowell, Bremen, Fort Wayne, Lafayette, Peru, Red Key, Terre Haute, Putnamville, Indianapolis, Pendleton, Connersville, Bloomington, Seymour, Versailles, Evansville, Jasper, and Sellersburg. Although many of the posts have long been outgrown, the officers, both past and present, have maintained the buildings in inspection condition and have passed on a proud tradition to today's troopers. State police posts are manned around the clock and receive information from law enforcement agencies and the public. That information is passed on to troopers in the field and other appropriate agencies as well. Telecommunication operators maintain contact between the officers and other agencies in the state. Telecommunication operators perform a variety of duties, including retrieving computer files located at state police headquarters and from the National Crime Information Center in Washington, D.C. All radio and telephone conversations are tape recorded by the operators in the event the information would need to be examined later for administrative or court use. Detectives are assigned to work closely with troopers investigating crimes. Detectives investigate all types of crimes, whether it be crimes against people or crimes against property, and they work diligently to solve them. The district laboratory technician also assists by processing crime scenes, collecting evidence, and preparing for court testimony. The forensic science work, which cannot be performed at the post, is sent to the state police laboratory located in Indianapolis or regional laboratories located in Fort Wayne, Lowell, and Evansville. Vehicle crash reports, case reports, arrest records, and administrative records are all processed in a prompt, efficient manner by the district secretaries. In addition to their other duties, the secretaries assist by answering the endless number of phone calls and referring the caller to the appropriate officer. Since communications is the lifeblood of law enforcement, the equipment must be maintained in top working order. The district radio technician performs this important task by maintaining the radios, radar, and VASCAR equipment, which is utilized by the personnel assigned to the various posts. Troopers patrolling the district have their vehicles maintained in top mechanical condition by the district's full-time mechanic or at the general headquarters garage. Although a trooper is assigned a particular county in which to reside, the job responsibility is far from county line restricted. Troopers are regularly called to investigate accidents or crimes in other counties of the district and are called upon to quell large civil disturbances, direct traffic, or work crowd control at large sporting events throughout the state. Their work often requires them to be away from home for several days at a time. Drinking and driving is a full-time enforcement effort for the Indiana State Police. Sobriety checkpoints are also used by troopers to identify drunk drivers, and they may be conducted at any time or place, especially during major holiday periods. Troopers also volunteer to serve on specialty teams, such as our emergency response teams, commonly referred to as SWAT. These officers are equipped with special weapons, tear gas, and other state-of-the-art tactical equipment. They handle extremely dangerous functions, such as hostage situations, raids on criminal activities with known armed subjects, and they conduct search and surveillance operations on marijuana growers. Another specialty group are the scuba divers. They are often called on to dive in adverse conditions to recover bodies, vehicles, or evidence which may be in swift rivers or deep lakes. Still other officers do explosive ordnance disposal work. 
These officers receive special training in ways to disarm bombs and dispose of old dynamite and other explosives which turn up in the state. Several officers in the district serve on the tactical intervention team. Wearing helmets, carrying shields, gas masks, and batons, these officers may be called to disperse unruly crowds or ordered by the governor to intervene in strikes. These troopers are impressive adversaries for any group of protesters. Working closely with the troopers are the motor carrier inspectors. They enforce laws pertaining specifically to trucks and receive detailed training on DOT and state laws involved in that specialized field. The scales are located on Interstate 65 in Lake County, Interstate 65 in Jackson County, Interstate 69 in Huntington County, Interstate 70 in Wayne County, Interstate 74 in Fountain County, on Interstate 74 in Dearborn County, and on Interstate 94 in Porter County. They are also located at the intersection of U.S. 6 and U.S. 33 in Noble County and at the intersection of U.S. 20 and State Road 49 in Porter County. Those scales check for overweight trucks and are utilized as an inspection station to examine trucks for safety violations. The aviation section lends support to field personnel by providing aircraft for search and rescue, as well as transporting prisoners and assisting with traffic patrol. The state police posts are made up of men and women who are proud to serve and protect, proud of their heritage with the Indiana State Police. They are ever cognizant that Hoosiers rely on them to respond to the call. Knowing that the ever-present danger may at times require they put their life on the line is always somewhere in the back of their mind. That supreme sacrifice has been made by 30 state police officers. The troopers, detectives, and civilians working in the district are under the command of the district lieutenant, who along with the first sergeant oversees the operations of the district. From the dunes on Lake Michigan in the north to the Ohio River in the south, it takes a special person to be a state police officer, a person with self-discipline and dedication, a person who cares about law and order and who is willing to set an example which hopefully others will follow.